find a lot is um, blower motors on the outdoor unit that go out, um, contactors sticking, capacitors uh, go out. Uh, on the heating side of things, it's more of a, a blower uh, or the blower capacitor. Even the, the control board will find um, go out. But typically it's, you know, it's, it's fan motors, capacitors, contactors, things of that nature. Realistically, the reason that they happen is because it's lack of maintenance. Um, most people don't realize that, that, you know, maintenance is a critical thing when it comes to your heating and air conditioning system. Your heating and air conditioning system runs more miles than your car does a year. So if you really thought about your blower, how many times it, it spins, um, and how often it's, it's running, you're putting more miles on your heating and air conditioning system in a year than you do your car. And most people change their oil between three and 5,000 miles. A lot of people don't think about their air conditioning that way. And, and when it gets dirty, it, it's running harder. It, it, it has to run longer to do the things that it needs to do. So maintenance is the main thing that causes these problems, or I should say lack of maintenance. One of the things that we talk about all the time is dirt. Dirt is the number one killer of heating and air conditioning equipment. If your outdoor unit is not cleaned, it's not running properly, it's, it's like putting a piece of cardboard in front of your radiator and driving down the highway on a hot summer day. That, it's, not, it's not able to breathe properly. That puts a lot of stress on those smaller components, believe it or not. And so if we can keep that clean, those things will last longer. Our front of the line family membership, we come out twice a year. We come out once in the spring, once in the fall. We get you ready for summer, we get you ready for winter. When we come out, we're gonna look at your whole system. We're gonna clean your outdoor unit. We're gonna clean it with chemicals. We're not just gonna clean it with a water hose. We're gonna put chemicals on it to push all that dirt out of there to make sure it's nice and clean and spotless and ready to go for the summertime. We're also gonna look at your blower motors. We're gonna oil anything that could be oiled, whether it's your outdoor motor, your indoor motor. We're gonna tighten all your electrical connections because that could be an issue as well. On the inside, we're gonna we're gonna look at your blower. We're gonna see if it's dirty. If it needs if it's dirty, we're gonna we're gonna suggest it to be cleaned. We're gonna oil those motors. We blow out drain lines to make sure that those drains are good and clear, and they're draining downhill because that's another major problem that can happen in the in the summertime is those drain lines clog up, algae builds up. Um, so we want to make sure those are good and clean for you as well. So we spend an hour, hour and a half in a home when we're doing a, a complete maintenance. Uh, twice a year.